Hi everyone, you are on How Fix It. In this video, I will test the effectiveness of thermal paste and liquid metal on PS4 Pro. I chose the first revision, which is the hottest and noisiest of all PlayStation 4 Pro models. Before testing the thermal paste, the game console was completely cleaned. In this video, I did not show the detailed process of disassembling and cleaning the PS4 Pro. There is a separate video on my channel. I left a link in the description. To measure the heating temperature of the PS4 Pro, I will use two sensors. The white sensor I'll connect directly to the heatsink, and the black sensor will measure the temperature of the air blown out of the game console's cooling system. To fix the temperature sensor to the radiator, I use a special adhesive tape that is resistant to high temperatures. Now we have a directly connected sensor to the heatsink. Let's move on to applying thermal paste. For the test, I chose the most popular Arctic MX4 thermal paste. If you are interested in more detailed tests of different thermal pastes, I left a link to the video in the description. Let's fix the temperature of the room, almost 30 degrees Celsius. And inside the PS4 housing, the temperature is similar. Now I place the black sensor in the vent grill on the same console housing. Also, I put my smartphone on the PS4 Pro housing near the vent grill to measure the noise level of the fan. Let's start the test and launch the game. I chose Tom Clancy's The Division 2 to test the game console. The runtime is 20 minutes. I think this is enough time to determine the average temperature of the PS4 Pro. The results of the PS4 Pro with the thermal paste. Heatsink temperature, 60 degrees Celsius. Air temperature, 52 degrees Celsius. Fan noise, 53.7 decibel. So, once again, I'm disassembling the game console, but now for applying liquid metal. The process of applying liquid metal is more complicated than using thermal paste. It consists of two steps. Preparation of the APU chip and application of liquid metal to the surface of the processor. The PS4 Pro processor has SMD components that must be isolated from accidental contact with liquid metal. Otherwise, if liquid metal gets on the SMD components, a short circuit will occur, which will damage the processor. The whole process of disassembling and applying liquid metal to the PS4 Pro is also in a separate video. I left a link in the description below. So now we have liquid metal. Let's assemble the console and proceed to the test. The duration of the game and other test conditions remain the same. The results of the PS4 Pro with liquid metal. Heatsink temperature, 64 degrees Celsius. Air temperature, 56 degrees Celsius. Fan noise, 48.1 decibel. Compared to the thermal paste, the liquid metal improved the heat transfer from the APU to the heatsink by 4 degrees Celsius, resulting in a lower fan speed and less noise. According to the test results, liquid metal is better than thermal paste for the PS4 Pro of the first revision. For more info, check out the links in the description. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have some ideas for other tests with game consoles, you can write them in the comments. You were on How Fix It, and see you next time.